Kaleripaite is the most sophisticated and ancient martial art form in the world. It was born in Kerala, a small state in South India, and precisely for that reason its history is inextricably linked to the social and cultural life of the land. Although tiny differences in terms of regional practices have led to variants like Tekken Kalari, the southern style, and Radhakan Kalari, the northern style, Kalari Paite is essentially one in spirit. From its earliest times, it was accessible to all, regardless of differences in caste, religion, and gender. The story of the origin of Kalari Paite is linked to the myth that surrounds the birth of Kerala. It is believed that after reclaiming the land from sea, Sage Parushrama set up 1,008 kalaris or training centers in order to stop the ground from shaking. Historical research, of course, has another account to offer. It states that Kalari Paita was developed by the soldiers of Kerala when a war broke out between the Chola and Chera dynasties in the 12th century. According to other historical sources, Kalari Paita was developed much earlier. Kalaris are constructed in two ways. One by digging a rectangular pit on the ground. This is the Kuri Kalari. The other is made by enclosing a flat patch of open ground. Although there are small and big Kuri Kalaris, the most common one is 42 feet long and 21 feet wide. The most important spots inside a Kalari are the Putara and the Gurudara. The Putara is a set of seven semicircular steps. Beliefs vary regarding the significance of the number. According to some, the steps symbolize seven gods that protect the world. According to another, they stand for the Panjendriyas, five sense organs, the mind and the intellect. The Gurudara is constructed one foot to the north of the Putara. Putra Vandanam. This is a ritual that every student has to follow before the training begins. It is an indigenous form of worship that involves specific moves and stances. This is the first of the four types of combat training in Kalaripaite. The Vaitari or oral commands made by the Guru or Master are rendered in a rhythmic fashion which the students follow implicitly. The Metari module includes training in various forms of steps, jumps and stances. With constant practice, the students are able to take complete control of their bodily movements. After the students have gained mastery over their bodies, they are introduced to Koltari or combat using various kinds of sticks. Ketakari Paite involves the use of long sticks. This is followed by Cheravadi Paite using short sticks and Ottu Paite using curved batons. Ottu Paite comes just before Kathari Paite or dagger fight. The only difference between the two is that the former uses wooden weapons whereas the latter uses metal ones. After the students have mastered the art of combating with sticks, they graduate to training in the use of metal weapons. Two weapons commonly used all over the world are employed in this stage. Val, or the sword, and Kundam, or the spear. Although both are equally important in Kalari Paite, the Churika, or dagger, is considered more deadly. A similar weapon that combatants tuck around their waists is the Urumi, or whip-like sword. Students who have gained proficiency in the first three combat procedures are considered eligible for verumkai, or bare-handed combat. This trains them in tackling opponents when they are totally unarmed. After acquiring expertise in marma shastra, or science of the vital spots of the body, the formal education in Kalariperte is complete. In this manner, fingers, fists, elbows, knees, feet, and even the forehead of the combatant become weapons. Kalari chikilsa, or treatment, is as famous as Kalari Perte. Urichil, or massage, that is fundamental to the treatment is characterized into three. Inna or oil massage, 
kai urichil or massage using the hands and chavati urichil or massage using the feet. When students sustain injuries to their marmas or vital parts of their body, the guru, who is also an expert in urichil, administers the right treatment. Deep knowledge of the marmas is vital to the kalari paitte. Thus, kalari paitte that encompasses training and treatment is an indigenous martial art form of Kerala that has no peers. For that reason, thousands of people from all over the world come to this tiny land in search of kalaris. They acquire this precious knowledge in return, their hearts brimming with a sense of gratification. <laughs>